Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. And uh, welcome to Sunday. Now here in the UK, we have many different people coming from many different countries or many different parts of the world and we all speak different languages at home. But the road is only speaking one language with us all. Would you know what that language is? Now that is, the road is speaking with everyone with one language so that we all could understand when we are driving. Because as a driver, it is our responsibility to make sure that we understand the language the road is speaking with us so that we could be safe on the road and that we could drive safely. Okay? And that language the road speaks with us is road markings and road signs. So that's the language the road is speaking with all the drivers. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter what language you speak at home. There's only one language the road is speaking with us. And that is road markings and road signs. So it is only fair we as a driver understand that language. Because unless we do, we're going to be in trouble and we're going to put others in trouble. So it is really important that we understand that language. That is the road signs and the road markings. There are videos on this channel about the road signs and the road markings. And I highly recommend for you to watch those videos on this channel. But this video, what I want to do is I want to share some signs, which are common signs where we will find them on a daily basis but they are misunderstood by many learners, especially in the beginning. So I just want to go through a few so that you know what they mean and hopefully it will give you a starting point for you to go and learn the language of driving, the language of the road. Because like I said, the road, the language, it speaks with us, road markings and road signs. So it is you as a driver, your responsibility to learn those language, which is road markings and road signs. So let's start with those signs that I want to share with you in this video and hopefully you will go on and learn the other ones. You could find all the signs in the highway code or buy a book which is known as Know Your Signs, which will give you all the signs you need in the UK. Okay, so the first one is this one. Now, what does this sign mean? You could see the arrow towards left, not straight, but diagonally towards your side. It means that it's telling you keep to your side. Keep to the left, meaning keep to your side. That's what it means. But then you have this sign. What does that mean? This one means turn left. Okay. It's not telling you to stay well to the left. It is telling you to turn left. It doesn't go straight or it can't go right. It's telling you to go left. That's what the sign is saying. So make sure you know the difference. One of them, the first one is saying, keep well to the left. And this one is saying, turn left. Now this sign, what does that mean? It means two-way traffic. It's saying that the road that you are driving, it's now two-way traffic okay maybe you were driving on a road where it wasn't two-way traffic now it's saying that this road is now two-way traffic you are going on the left and there will be others coming from the other side but then you have this one what does that mean this one means that you are driving on a one-way street and there is a crossroad coming up and on that crossroad it could go left or it could go right so if there is a crossroad coming up on a one-way street, you probably wonder, is that going to be a one-way as well? But this sign is saying, no, it is a two-way crossroad coming up. That's what this sign means. You could go either left or you could go right if you see this sign from a one-way street. Now this sign, what does that mean? This one means that no stopping, clear away. It means that there are some roads is telling you not to stop because if you do, it can be dangerous for other traffics. So this sign means that you should not stop. It is not allowing you to stop 
for any reason. So this sign means that no stopping. But then look out for signs with the same sign underneath it will say end which means that no stopping ends from this point onwards. So look out for those signs when you see one of those when he ends. But then you have this sign. What does that mean? Similar but only one line going across. It means no waiting. Okay. So the difference between this one and the other one, this one no waiting meaning you can stop for drop off and pick up but you can't stop for parking or waiting for too long um, unless there is a sign saying with a timetable on a certain time you can't stop or wait but other time you can. So look out for those signs. Now this sign, what does that mean? No entry. It means no vehicles allowed to go through this road which this sign has. So if you see a road with this sign with both sides of the road it means that you can't enter that road it's no entry. Now this sign what does that mean? This sign means that the maximum speed on this road is 30. You can't drive more than 30 or whatever the speed is in that circle. So if you see a red circle and you see a speed inside that circle it means that that's the maximum speed you could drive on that road you can't drive more than that speed now the interesting is many times we think when we see a speed that's the maximum speed but do we know that there are signs which tells you you can't drive any speed less than that so this sign as you can see now is a blue circle with speed inside this one is 30 and it's telling you that the minimum speed on this road is 30. Now did you know this? That there are some roads where it's telling you the minimum speed you can drive. You shouldn't drive any less than this speed on this sign. Okay, so there are some roads, like I said, where you have red circle inside the speed limit, which is the maximum you could drive on. And there are some blue circle which has speed inside telling you that's the minimum you can drive. You shouldn't drive any less than this speed. Did you know that? Please do let me know in the comment if you knew this or not. Now this sign, it means national speed limit on this road. So if it's a single carriageway and if you're driving a car, it is 60. And if you are driving on a dual carriageway or motorway, it is 70. So this sign on a single carriageway is 60 if you're driving a car and if you are driving on a dual carriageway or on a motorway it means it is 70. Make sure you know the difference between single carriageway and a dual carriageway. If you need help on that watch the video on the channel where I have explained what is the difference between a single carriageway and a dual carriageway. Now this sign what does it mean? This sign means that the dual carriageway ends. So you probably were driving on a dual carriageway. So then at the end of the dual carriageway, it will show you this sign saying that it's end of dual carriageway. Okay. Now then you have this sign. What does this one means? As you can see, it's similar to dual carriageway ends, but it has a gap in the middle. Now this is where many learners, they get confused with the other sign, which is the dual carriageway ends and with this one. This one means that the road that you are driving on it will become narrow on both sides. Okay as you can see in the picture it narrows from both sides. So when you're driving so the road that you are driving on now at the moment it will narrow from both sides. If it's only on one side it means only that side is going to be narrowed. Okay make sure you know the difference because the other one was end of dual carriageway and this one means the road narrows from maybe both sides or maybe from one side. Now this sign what does it mean? It means crossroad coming up and I am sure most of you know this sign what it means but the reason I put this in the video so that you know when you are driving on a main road and you have this sign is saying that there is a crossroad coming up and I have to be aware if there are cars coming joining from those road 
okay and this is important or maybe the car in front wants to turn left or right which means they will slow down so soon as you see one of those sign be aware for the car in front to slow down if they want to turn or cars joining from side roads so soon as you see a sign make sure you know be aware there is a crossroad coming up i have to be a little bit more cautious and be careful in case cars are joining or the car in front turning anyway these are the most common ones i've just put in i don't want to make the video too long i just want to touch on a few things so that you know that there are signs which looks similar but they can mean different because there is a different on the sign you just have to be careful knowing the different okay and like i said it doesn't matter where you're from it doesn't matter what language you speak at home there is only one language we all speak when we are driving and that is road signs and road markings and as a driver it is our responsibility to make sure that we know the meaning of those road signs and road markings unless we do we put ourselves in danger as well as others so the learning doesn't stop you are always a learner many people they've passed for many years been driving cars for many years and there are signs which they are not sure of so you can't stop learning you learn every day as a learner it is your responsibility to know the signs especially the most common one which you will face on a daily basis for you to know what they mean so that you know how to deal with those signs and the road markings and like i said this channel has videos on road signs as well as road markings if you haven't seen those videos i highly recommend for you to go and watch those videos i am sure it will help you to give you that understanding of road signs and road markings i hope you've enjoyed the video if you did please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment um if you knew those signs and if it helped you or not if you think this video helped please do let me know in the comment this will help me to make more videos it will give me more motivation more inspiration for you to make more videos because i know it is helping so please do give a thumbs up if you like the video and please do make a comment like i said and if you are new to this channel uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now